What happens if you reach the end of FC25 career mode? Season 2038, 39 ends in just 10 days. Yes, guys, we have been simulating for hours to get to this point. Right now, I really want to take a look at a new section first of all. As you can see, we got the Premier League secured. But something that I noticed, why does this post have 6 million likes? I think this might be a glitch or maybe it happens... Uh, you know, when you get so far into the career mode, because honestly, most of these posts I've seen just been getting a few thousand likes. But, you know, when the player of the year is announced, it's literally 6 million. That is quite a lot, so I don't know if that is a glitch or not, but uh, it seems to be so, so much more than what the rest of the posts are getting. So, guys, let's take a quick look at how this squad is looking like. Obviously, 15 years on, a lot of players have retired, and I mean, this whole starting 11 is looking like they have an average age of like 13 or something. They look very young. Let's search up a few players that uh, we all know. So, Holland is 38. He is still playing, but he's only 68 rated, and he is in Crystal Palace. That is an interesting one. Let's also search up Yamal. I mean, he's gonna be a little bit younger, but uh, as we can see, I mean... In 15 years, Yamal is just gonna be 31. Maybe uh, the best moment of his career. He's 94 rated. That is honestly insane. If you haven't seen the player face of Yamal just yet, he is there. And uh, wow, 94. That is absolutely fantastic. Let's search up Kylian Mbappe as well. Is he still playing? That is the question. And no, Kylian is not playing, but his brother Ethan is. So 32 years old and he is 81 rated. That is pretty interesting. You can no longer participate in youth academy tournaments. Obviously the career is going to be ending now in just a few days. But something that we are going to be taking a look at guys. Is uh, pretty much how are the youth academy players looking like. Because obviously you can get onto the market at 16 years old. That is when you get a professional contract. And now we have played for 15 seasons. Let's go to, uh, I would say around 30 years old. Maybe, maybe maximum 33. And I'm sure we are going to be finding quite a few players there. And as we can see, you know, there is quite a bit of difference in the player faces. I feel like now they do look a little bit older. We can, you know, list them to the transfer hub as well to see if they have changed, you know, because Youth Academy players are supposed to be starting out you know, really small, like 5 foot 1, and then they can grow to be, you know, really, really tall later on. If we go to around 16, 17 years old, we can see that, um, you know, this guy is 5 foot 7, 5 foot 7, 5 foot 6. You know, some of these players have grown quite a bit, but uh, that's mostly like goalkeepers and stuff like that. And this guy is 6 foot 1, but obviously a goalkeeper. And as you can see, just from their faces, guys, they obviously do look like kids basically they look way younger than when a youth academy player turns 30 years old so yeah i'm really interested guys if you want to see a video with literally the same player year by year to see how he develops if he starts growing a beard if he you know gets a lot taller let me know in the comment section and i will definitely take a look at that before we keep going guys i really want to mention quickly that episode number one of my player career mode series is now live on my second channel i'll give you a small sneak peek right there Ooh, nice skill move there come on show your pace yes look at that we've gone past three players out of nothing, you know, we're showing moments of absolute genius. Here we are. I really want to know who's the best team in the world in the year 2039. And maybe in 15 years time, we can come back to this video to see if uh, EA Sports were correct. So as we can see, River Plate is winning there in Argentina. Let's go over to uh, League One. Is PSG still do uh, dominating? And as we can see, they are eighth in the table. That is pretty far down. Marseille is currently number one. Toulouse is also pretty far uh, up. We can keep going a little bit down until we find the next league, which is the Bundesliga. Are Bayern still top of the league? 15 years old. Let's find out. And as we can see, Mönchengladbach actually picked up the title, but Bayern is still uh, pretty much up there, you know, fighting for the league table. So let's go over to Serie A, who is on top. And as we can see, it is AC Milan, Roma in second. Juventus a little bit uh, further down there, Fiorentina 
middle of the table. So uh, some interesting results in that league as well. Let's go over then to the next big one, which is La Liga. Real Madrid, obviously. You know, I I'm not surprised that Real Madrid, Atletico and also Barca are the top three teams. I also want to take a quick look at the Scottish League. And as we can see here, this is a massive surprise. Hearts is on top of this uh, table. As we can see, Man City as well on top. I've just been uh, simulating and uh, yeah, they managed to win it. But we obviously have to take a look at Champions League. Is Real Madrid still winning this competition or what's going on? And look at that, man. Real Madrid just won 3-0 in the final against Bayern. I mean, they are never going away, guys. This is truly their competition. Let's look at the Europa League. And uh, PSG has beat Leipzig on penalties. That is interesting because they finished pretty far down in their league table. And for the Conference League, Lille have beat Brentford. I mean, we can take a look at the social media and see that the Jude Bellingham, he is still playing, of course. And uh, he is posing in front of the... Champions League trophy. Bellingham was the hat-trick hero. What? He scored three goals in the Champions League final. Bellingham might just have gone down as one of the greatest ever, guys. Wow. What a uh, what an achievement that is. But now it is time to get uh, done with this season. We are uh, just having a few days remaining. And we are going to see what happens, guys. Have EA Sports added the cutscene? Have they changed up the message? Is there going to be anything new that happens at the end of career mode? Let's end the season right there. And as we can see, we have a message. Good morning. The board wish to congratulate you not only on your work with this club, but also on the development of your career as a whole. We wish you the best of luck in your future endeavors. You will always be a welcome guest at Man City. So I think that is the standard message that they have been giving for the past few years in career mode. Let's go ahead and advance and please don't tell me that we just end up in the menu. I hope that there is something else that's going to be happening. Okay, we have an overview here of our uh, club record, which is uh, really, really interesting. But after that, let's keep advancing. What is going to be happening? And look at that, man. Yeah, we are right back into the main menus. I still don't get this. You know, if you play 15 seasons, there should be at least a cutscene or something special happening. You know, there is just nothing from EA Sports, which is really disappointing. It makes me not want to finish playing 15 seasons because at the end, it's just, it's just not nothing happening. Come on, EA, you, you gotta add something. At least for next year, because this is not good enough. Let's go for 3,000 likes on this video and let me know what you want to see next.